Hi, in this lesson we'll have a lot of fun learning and playing the seven church modes, or major modes as some call them. First I'll introduce you to the modes, and I'll show you an easy method to learn the modes based on how they actually sound. In that way you'll learn the modes by ear rather than by theory. Now, if you're only interested in a useful hands-on introduction to the modes, you only have to watch this first section. But if you also think it could be fun to do something exceptional, outstanding and abnormal, you should definitely hang on, because in the following section we are going to blend and merge several modes together. And the result is a huge, modern and thrilling multi-mode sound landscape. We'll for example learn to play something like this. Okay, after the multi-mode section we'll do something even crazier. We'll break the boundaries of the modes, and harmonic music in general, and we'll create a super modern non-diatonic new jazz sound. So, this lesson contains it all. A very basic introduction to the modes, and a very crazy continuation. Finally, in this lesson, I'll provide you with inspiration to continue the work, exploring the modes, creating new jazz sounds on your own hand. This is a new jazz lesson, by the way, and my name is Oliver Pring. Okay, we start up totally basic. Here we have the C major scale. All the white keys, right? In this lesson we'll use only the Greek names, so this major scale is also called the Ionian mode. The Ionian mode has a quite bright sound, right? Okay, what we are going to do is to gradually make this Ionian mode sound darker and darker by lowering the different steps. So let's start by lowering the seventh step and we got this new sound. The Mixolydian mode. So the Mixolydian mode is almost like the Ionian mode. Just with the lower seventh step. Hear the difference? Brighter, darker, more major-like, more minor-like. Ionian, Mixolydian. Now, if we want to make our Mixolydian sound even darker, we can also lower the third step, like this. And we got the Dorian mode. Listen, Mixolydian has still got the major third quality. But when moving to Dorian, we hear the minor third quality. Mixo. Brighter, darker. But not as dark as the next mode. This mode you probably already know. Now try to lower the sixth step. And yes, this is simply the 
natural minor scale. But in our Greek terms, we name this mode the Aeolian mode. Now listen to the difference between Aeolian and Dorian. Darker, brighter. So we have gradually moved from the very bright sounding Ionian mode to the much darker and minor like Aeolian mode. In between we got Mixolydian and Dorian. So we can move from Ionian to Mixo to Dorian to Aeolian. Now if we want to make Aeolian even darker, we can also lower the second step. And we got the Phrygian mode. Phrygian is almost like Aeolian, just with a lowered second step. Now, we can make this scale even darker. We can also diminish the fifth step. And we got the Locrian mode. This is as far we can go with the church modes, for now at least. Later on in this lesson we'll break the boundaries of the modes totally. That will for sure be fun. But let's wait a little while and finish this basic but also very important introduction. Now let's turn around and move to the right on the row of modes above the keyboard. So we'll start with Locrian. Then we raise the fifth step and we got Phrygian. Then we raise the second step and we got Aeolian. Brighten the sound even more by raising the sixth step. And we got Dorian. And then we raise the third step. And we got Mixo. And finally we raise the seventh step. And we got this very bright note. The Ionian. Let's also try to raise the fourth step. And we got the Lydian mode. A super bright major sound, right? Even brighter than the Ionian mode. Ionian. Lydian. So, now we have all the seven modes in a very useful row, arranged by how the modes actually sound. So, we have the most flattened and darkest modes to the left. And as we move to the right, the modes get sharper and brighter. In the description below, I'll paste a PDF containing this row of modes. If you learn this simple row by heart, you'll also have a pretty good idea about how the modes actually sound.
compared to each other. Darker and brighter. And I believe that the most enriching and beneficial way to learn the seven modes is by their sound. Now, this was all basic stuff. From now on, we'll just go kind of crazy, and I'll show you how we can blend the modes into a huge and thrilling sound landscape. Now you may think that everything will be quite complicated, but actually not at all. We have already walked through the most complicated stuff, I think. If we know this basic stuff about the modes we have learned so far, we are actually ready to move on and play thrilling and liberating music. Now we'll mix several modes into one single, huge, exceptional and very modern sound landscape. We'll play what I call multi-modes, and we'll experience that we can make total order into something complex just by using a very simple pattern. Now, if we play a C minor pentatonic hand grip like this, and a T minor pentatonic hand grip, and a D minor pentatonic hand grip. We actually hit all the C Dorian notes. Let's gather the notes. Look, C Dorian, right? So right now we actually hear the Dorian sound, but we perform Dorian by using a simple pentatonic pattern. Now, look at our three pentatonic positions. They are actually arranged in fifths. C, and we go up a fifth to G, and we go up a fifth to the D minor pentatonic. All this we have learned in previous lessons, I know. But here comes the trick. What happens if we continue this very same pattern, adding new pentatonic positions, all spaced with fifths? Well, let's go up another fifth to the A pentatonic. Look, now we raise the third step compared to our C tonality. So look above on the row of modes. What mode is like Dorian, but with a raised third step? Correct, Mixolydian. So, by playing a simple pentatonic hand grip at different positions, each spaced with fifths, we can now blend two modes together. When we play the three lowest pentatonic positions, we play Dorian. And when we play the three upper pentatonic positions, we approach Mixolydian. So now we can actually in a totally free, simple and smooth manner go back and forth between the two modes as we please. Brighter Solidian Dorian Major third Minor third So our 
are sound landscape is not just created from a single mode. Now we play a multi-mode solo, forming and shaping our sound as we please. But we can to a much higher degree form the color of our sound landscape. So maybe you've figured out what to do next. Yes, we simply add another pentatonic position on the top, a fifth above the A pentatonic. So we add the E pentatonic. So. We are coming from C Mixolydian. But look, now we raise the seventh step. So, what mode are we playing now? Well, look at the row of modes above. Mixolydian with a raised seventh step. Yes, we got the C Ionian mode. Wow, right? Now we can actually blend three modes together and we have this sound. Dark sound. Brighter and brighter. Dorian Mixo Ionian. Now let's add the B pentatonic position as well. Now we raise the fourth step. And we suddenly hear, well, what do we hear? Yes, the Lydian mode. So now we can just sit here and in a totally free manner, shape our sound as we like. When we go up, the register, we brighten the sound, approaching Lydian. When we go down the register, we darken the sound, approaching Dorian. We can, of course, also continue further down from the C pentatonic position to the F pentatonic position. Then we lower the sixth step. And yes, we play the Aeolian mode. And by playing the B flat pentatonic, we lower the second step. And yes, we approach Phrygian. And by playing E flat pentatonic, we diminish the fifth step and we approach Locrian. So now we can actually, in a totally free manner, mix and blend all seven modes just by using a pentatonic hand grip at different positions. Now isn't that fantastic?
Right now, we have placed our pentatonic hand grip, so when going up the register, we make our sound brighter. And when going down the register, we make our sound darker. But if we space each pentatonic position with fourths instead of fifths, we actually do the opposite. So if we play D to G to C pentatonic, we play Dory. And if we continue up another fourth and play F pentatonic, we make our sound darker instead of brighter. Aeolian. Phrygian. Locrian. Mixo. And Ionian. Lydian. So now our sound gets darker if we move up the register. And brighter if we move down the register. Let's try to mix our two options and improvise music. We can either space our pentatonic positions with fourths or fifths. So now we can in a totally free manner make our sound darker or brighter. Notice, this is not a traditional, restricted, one-scale solo. <laughs> no, no, no. This is more like going around in the garden, picking different flowers, creating a nice bouquet of colors. Being able to blend the modes easily and smoothly makes our music world so much bigger. going to create an even more outstanding, huge and thrilling sound by breaking the borders of the modes. It's very simply done, actually. Well, maybe you have already figured out how. Now, listen to this sound. What's the trick? Well, we simply just continue to add pentatonic positions up the register. Let's space each pentatonic position with fifths. So we can, for example, start uh, by playing C Dorian. We raise the third step and play mixer. Raise the seventh step and play Ionian. 
we raise the fourth step and play Lydian. And now, by adding the F sharp pentatonic, we actually augment the very first step, the C note. A super bright sound. So, can we both have a perfect and an augmented version of the first step? In my world, no problem. Actually, great! By breaking boundaries and traditions, we make new sounds, new music, new jazz. In our context, augmenting the very first step is actually the most natural thing to do, because our ear actually expects us to follow the simple pentatonic pattern, rather than it wants us to hear a traditional harmonic sound. Now listen, playing the keynote actually sounds wrong. Wrong, right? Now listen. Augmenting the keynote is actually better and more natural. Better, right? Isn't that fantastic? By creating a simple pattern, we can actually break the boundaries of traditional tonal harmonic music and create new, thrilling and colorful sound landscapes. In a harmonic sense, our sound is very complex. But when thinking patterns, our sound structure actually becomes much more simple. We can of course add as many pentatonic positions as the register allows us. So we have, we have a room for just one more. C sharp pentatonic. With C in the bass. A super, super bright sound we reach in the top of our register. So, when doing patterns, our horizon is actually so much wider and we are actually free to do so much more. Our landscape can potentially be enormous. Not only can we, in a free manner, float between the modes and the flavors, we can also, as if everything was perfectly normal, break the boundaries of harmonic and diatonic music totally, creating and exploring new modern jazz sounds. Now, isn't that fantastic? Now, let me try to inspire you to continue the work of this lesson. You see, the pentatonic hand grip is, of course, not the only hand grip in this world we can use. Try also to invent your own grips, your own patterns, your own structures. What about doing this little stepwise hand grip? What happens if uh, we play C in the bass? Well, this could be the start of uh, the Dorian mode. Mm. What if we move up the grip with a fifth? Yeah, this is Dorian. Fifth. Well, we got mixo 
in our ears. Ionian and yes, Lydian. What if we go up with false? C Aeolian. Yes, Phrygian. Locrian. us a more stepwise improvisation compared to the pentatonic hand grip, right? sounds. How can you make the sound brighter? And how can you make the sound darker? Experiment. Challenge the established rules of music. Create something new. I can just sit here for hours by my piano, just playing around, improvising music by using grips and patterns, experimenting. It's really, really fun and liberating. Okay, you are of course so much welcome to make a small donation to help keep me going. But don't feel obligated. All my lessons are free and for everybody. I believe that sharing ideas publicly is how we make music grow, flourish and thrive. Well, see you in about four weeks. Warm regards from Oliver Prey.